Nineteen eight. Yeah. Dandy. Well, wasn't great. Wasn't great. But Kansas City Chiefs prevail over the floundering Denver Broncos. And, and you know, this is weird because you know, do you want to say the Chiefs are the real story because they're continuing to win besides their offense? not functioning at a high level, even though Patrick Mahomes threw for 300-some yards. He only got 19 points. Um, or is it the Broncos? I mean, this is a situation where Russell Wilson, 95 yards. Is, is that it? He, he was sub-100, Am I if I'm looking at this right. That, that 13, of typo. 13 of 22, 95 yards, Ugh. two interceptions, four sacks. Um Man, at one point he was like 5 for 11 for 37 yards. In, in the first it half. Was, it was awful. In the first half, and, you know, I can't watch this. I'm, I'm such a huge Russell Wilson guy, right? I, I think about those great days in Seattle where he's moving around, where he's dropping 20 yards in the pocket and throwing it 40 yards downfield, a 60-yard throw, because he had that big bazooka of an arm. And then I'm watching him last night getting passes batted down at the line of scrimmage because he's only six yards behind the line of scrimmage. Is it a chicken or the egg thing because he doesn't have a ton of support? This offense isn't working. Was it his? His bad game, you know, because they said he, he looked good. He, and he has played fairly well. Um, but it's just one of these things where, okay, what's going on with Russ? And, you know, we're going to have James Palmer and Tom Pelissero, both my NFL Network colleagues, on a little bit later in the show because Palmer was there, and he lives in Denver. He's, he's very tight to this franchise. But you're looking at this picture, for those not listening on the radio, watching on Roku, that of Sean Payton and Russell Wilson. How much longer is this going to work? Because Russell is there for this year. They're, they're paying him too much money. Sean Payton is not going anywhere. They're paying him too much money. But how long can they continue to put this product on the field that's losing? In a, in, in a game where their defense actually played well last night. And, and so we're, we're, kind of, we're kind of looking short and long term at the Broncos here. Could they be sellers at the trade deadline? We're hearing Jerry Judy's name. Oh, in a lot of different ways. <laughs> um, but, you know, he could be someone that could be on the move, that that Denver could be shopping their players. And there will be takers for, for guys like, you know, Jerry Judy or whomever else they want to, you know, want to potentially move. Um, but, you know, let's, you know, we were talking about this, Chris, you know, yeah. a little bit earlier. When you look at the potential draft for next year and where the some of these teams could be, Denver's right in the mix. You're looking at a team – like the New York Giants. Oh, by the way, Daniel Jones is not playing against the Buffalo Bills this week. He has been ruled out with a neck injury, so Ty Taylor is going to be in the mix right there. But you're looking at teams like this New England who could be drafting top five. It, it is, it, you know, Minnesota. It is amazing to see where things have, have, have shaped up after just five, six weeks in the NFL where you don't th think there's hope. You know, you know, when you look at the Patriots, when you're looking at the Denver Broncos, when you're looking at some of these teams, Carolina Panthers, you know, they, they get Bryce Young. And they're saying he's the guy who could salvage our franchise from what? Speaking of Carolina, by the way, Steve Wilkes, what about him on the come up? He doesn't get the head coaching job, but now he's coaching the defense, the defense for the San Francisco 49ers. I think we need to touch on that. We're going to do that with Matt Mayoko uh, from NBC Bay Area, Bay Area Sports a little bit later on, too about what's going on with Steve Wilkes. But Brockman. Yeah, and Steve, you know, you look at the you look at the top of the shout out tankathon. Uh if you look at the top of the NFL draft right now. <laughs> tankathon. It's a lot of teams that aren't used to be picking this high. You know, you're talking about New England, you're talking about Denver and Minnesota and the Giants. It's bad. And and these are teams that you can probably throw the Minnesota might win a few more games. I would expect Chicago to kind of win a few more games, but they have Carolina's pick. You can throw the dirt on these teams already. Panthers, they're not making the playoffs. Patriots, they're not making the playoffs. It certainly doesn't look like the Giants and the Cardinals. They're not making it. If you go to the teams with two wins, Green Bay really didn't look good last week. Las Vegas, I expect them to beat the Pats and to get to 500, but that's not a really a good football team. Washington and the Jets, they're not good football teams. They're going to all be in that top 10. And you think about, are you sellers? Trade deadline in 18 days. Are they sellers here after weeks six, seven, and eight? It's a real conversation. And I think when you look at Denver, yeah. Ari, Ari released Frank Clark. Yep. Got to expect that he's going back to Kansas City. Yep. Um, guys, 
a lot of guys are going to be available for Denver. Russell Wilson is really just playing out the string for the rest of this season, and it's going to get a lot worse for some of these teams. It's it's so weird because you know we're, we're sitting here talking about you know teams are going to be sellers, but this isn't Major League Baseball. You know we, we talk about this every year in the NFL, but rarely do trades happen. But I do think Denver is going to be in one of those situations because right now they're going to get as much draft capital as possible because we don't know who their general manager is going to be next year. George Payton, you know, he was there. He's nowhere to be seen or heard from for their general manager. Maybe Sean Payton goes down to New Orleans and brings up Mickey Loomis or go, goes and gets Kai Harley off that staff. They, they change their scouting department because there's going to be significant upheaval in Denver. So I think they're one of the few teams that are going to do this. You know, I don't think someone like Kirk Cousins, as much as we want to talk about him being traded. I don't know why the Vikings would trade him. I don't know why Cousins would want to be traded. I mean, I think the Vikings might try to sign him long-term, longer-term-ish uh, after the season. So I don't see a move like that. But with Denver, it's it's just absolutely intriguing to me. We're week six talking about playing out of string. Mm -hmm. And again, this is just not a good football team right now. And on a night when their defense finally plays well against one of the most high-octane offenses in the NFL, Russell Wilson and this crew can't get over the hump. And, 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 and guys, when you look, you know, again, when I look at Russell Wilson and I, and I look at the crew with him, we were talking about this earlier, mm -hmm. guys. You know, when he was in Seattle, you had Tyler Lockett. You had Doug Baldwin. These guys getting open. That's not happening in Denver. And you say to yourself, is it, is it coaching? Are there not coaching scramble drills? I'm sure they're practicing this stuff. Right. Like, what is happening when they get in games when they're not executing? There's no juice to this. And, you know, and I have the utmost respect for Sean Payton as the head coach. I think he's one of the most brilliant offensive coaches in this era. But why isn't it working? Like, some semblance of something. And I know coming into this game Thursday night, we were saying this offense was playing better. And Thursday night is, is often not a good truth teller. True. Of what a team is. I mean, especially in a divisional game, which is always tight. But the the lack of hope is is just, you know, it, it's just, it's absolutely staggering to me as someone who's covered this league for a long time when you're looking at Denver with a Russell Wilson. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.